Now this problem is related to variable normal reaction. Let us try yourself. So question says we have a rod and this rod is resting over a block. A force is applied over this block. So this block will move in this direction. There is a friction between this surface and block and rod and block. This friction will basically try to retard the motion of block A. We have to find velocity of block A when it reaches to the end of rod B. So let us say we have So this is block A, let us say mass is MA, rod has a mass of MB. Let us say this has this block has moved a distance X. What are the forces that is acting over this block? One force that is normal reaction by the rod. So there is a normal reaction. Let us call this normal reaction is N1. Now by Newton's third law, the same normal reaction is also applied on this block. On this block there is another normal reaction that is coming from ground. Let us call this as N2. and the same normal reaction is also applied on the ground. A force bit that is also acting for this mass, let us say MA into Z. Center of mass of this rod is somewhere here and this is MB into Z. This distance is X. So we can calculate normal reaction because this rod is hinged at this point. So let us call this point is O. So free rotation of rod is possible about a hinge O. So this means net torque about O is 0. So let us find net torque about O that is 1 torque is due to bit mb into z and this distance is this is center of mass that is 3 meter this distance is given is equals to normal reaction into X. So if we plug the values of masses, rod is of 500 kg, G is 10. So this is normal reaction. Now calculate N2. Since in the vertical direction this block is in the rest, so total force in the vertical direction is 0. 
So n1 plus m a z is equals to n2. So from here we can calculate n2 that is n1 plus m a z mass of a is also given this is 50 kg. Now once I know normal reaction we can basically calculate friction force over this block. So one friction force is acting over this surface, another friction force acting over this surface. Over this surface they has, this is mu n2 and here we will have mu n1. There is a force that is acting that is F. So now we can write equation of motion this block block is A. So let us write equation of motion for block A. And this will be F minus mu n1 minus mu n2 is equals to mass into acceleration. that is F minus mu n1 plus n2 force is given supplied force is 10,000 Newton friction coefficient is 0.4 and normal reaction 1 is 15,000 by x normal reaction 2 is 15,000 by x plus 500 it equals to mass of block into acceleration mass of block is 50 kg dv by dt so we can cancel 0 throughout So this is 0 0.4, 3000 by x plus 50, 5 dv by dx, dv by dt. We can also cancel 5. simplification so we will have 196 minus 240 by x is equals to db by dt we need velocity when x is equals to 6 meter that is it reaches to the end point so what is my task my task is to calculate velocity when it reaches here that is x is equals to 6 meter because we are measuring x from here so final x is 6 meter and then we have to calculate what is the velocity we can change the variable because we have time so let us put dv by dx into dx by dt. So we can multiply by dx in numerator as well as denominator both. Now dx by dt is v this is v dv by dx. So we will have v dv is equals to this integration initial velocity is 0 final is v initial x is 3 meter final is 6 so this is v square by 2 
Now this we can integrate separately. So 1 is 196 dx 326 minus 240 by x dx 326. So this is x 3 to 6 minus 214 to log x 3 to 6. So we will have v a square by 2 is equals to 196 into 6 minus 3 minus 240 into log 6 minus 3 so that is log 3 by 2 6 by 3. So, v square by 2 is equals to 196 into 3 minus 240 log 2. So, v square is equals to 2 times 196 into 3 minus 240 and this is on natural logarithm that is not on 10. So, let us write ln 2. So, let us calculate this value. So, we have 2 into 196 into 3 minus 240 into log 2. This value is at 43.3. So, V a square is at 43.3. So, V is under root at 43.3. So, this is 29.04. So finally, this will block, will gain a velocity of 29.04 meter per second. One important point in this problem we have that is variable normal reaction. You see normal reaction 1 that is not constant. So, this normal reaction depends upon x. So, this is variable. As x increases, normal reaction decreases because x in the denominator. 